Hey y'all, this is Nicole Sheehan. I'm here on um, what we call sixth opinion exams. Um, often what people come to me for is that they've seen several veterinarians and can't figure out what's going on with their animals. So this is Olive. This is the first time I get to see Olive today. She's seven years old and she's had a couple really odd health problems. Um, she acutely lost her vision uh, about a year and a half or two years ago. And we would consider that idiopathic, which means we have no idea why, which we kind of, in my world, we settle for as a diagnosis. And to me, it means we just don't know. Uh, there's always a reason that animals get a severe problem like sudden blindness. So um, we'll come back to that. Uh, but really what she's here for is she has fecal incontinence, which means she poops and she doesn't know she's pooping. So in her sleep, she has a little bit of poop come out. So some of these things we'll associate with for an older dog, but definitely not a young dog like Olive. So that in combination with this really sudden blindness that no one can explain, those two things together are a little bit suspicious for me for something. But I'm gonna go through a little physical exam for her and we're gonna see if I can find something on her physical exam that maybe someone who's practicing only traditional medicine won't look for. Um, so real quick, we'll go through and just look at a few things. Hey, Olive. Oh, you're so sweet. You're a good girl. Hey, pretty. Let's go look in your mouth, okay? That's a good girl. Good job. Okay, over here. Good girl. Okay, I'm gonna look in your ears. It won't hurt, it'll just tickle, okay? So I'm not really expecting to find anything out of the ordinary up here. And I'm not, all this is normal. Her eyeballs look healthy, although they don't register vision. I'm gonna go through and check up her neck and back pain. Start here at the neck. And so far so good. And then because people are bringing me really difficult problems, I'm in the habit of checking every single thing I can check because you never know where you get a little clue. I've already gone through her blood work to see if I could find any small clues on her blood work and I, I did not find anything that I would typically, typically be looking for. So I've really got to see if I can find it on her physical exam. Okay, so this is interesting. So when I come all the way back and I get back to her lower back, this is one of the things I had in mind I could be finding and you'll see just a tiny twitch. I didn't get it anywhere until I get right here. So what's interesting about this is, this is the part of the spinal cord where the nerves come out and they serve the colon. So, we're having problems with the colon. This is very likely a problem. Now she's already had an MRI here. So she was sent for an MRI and they cannot find anything physical um, on the MRI, which you would think is the top level test for, for something like this. But the fact that I'm getting a little tiny reaction there is very meaningful to me. Um, so I'm gonna keep going. Nowhere else, only there. Super interesting to me. So this is probably what I'm gonna treat. Um, but I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna finish my physical exam because I could still be finding some other clues. Okay, then I'm gonna pull in some Chinese medicine here. So in Chinese medicine, if you have fecal incontinence, sometimes your body is low in energy. Um, and so there's kind of a little trick we have to check the pulse quality in the back. I'm reaching around and just feeling her pulses. And if that were her main problem, her pulses would be very weak. They're, they're a little tiny bit weak, but not enough in a young dog to suspect we would have fecal incontinence. I'm going to just check her joints back here. <clears throat> Oh, that feels good. And then I'm gonna look at her bottom, which you don't really need to see, but, so this all looks normal. So sometimes I'll see an abnormality back here. Um, but I don't, there's no puckering or anything. There's no inflammation, so that looks normal. So um, to me, it's not really a Chinese medicine problem so much as it's a nerve problem. So she's very likely to have a nerve here that's not functioning properly. And so um, acupuncture is going to be your treatment of choice. So people come here a lot for acupuncture and half the time I say you don't need acupuncture, you need something else. 
this time acupuncture might be the right thing because I want to treat this nerve that's not not right. And there's a chance that even though her MRI is, is normal, something could have happened and her pelvis could have shifted just enough to put pressure on those nerves and then the nerves aren't feeding the colon right. So right now she's being managed um, adequately on just a modium, so over the counter modium, but her mom doesn't really want to do that. And often the reason people come see me is because yes, it's working, but in I feel like in a in her mom's you know gut, she knows that some, there's got to be something else that can be done other than this band-aid. So, um, so we're going to do her acupuncture and then I'll come back and we'll see if she still reacts to it um, after the acupuncture needle. So, so all of is done with her, her first acupuncture treatment. So I'm just going to go through and see if she feels any better. Yeah, she still has it, which confirms she's going to need more treatments. Um, so I told her parents she probably will need four. Um, and so we'll follow up with that in a couple weeks. See you soon.